David's at the hospital now. He told me he was headed straight over. You must recognize me. You must have seen me on TV or on a book cover. Don't have TV. Well, I can tell already you don't read books. Excuse me. All right. So you live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere. And so real people in the real world, they have no effect on you. But I am telling you, down at the bottom of your hill, I am very, very well known. And I have important things to do, and I must get down there. Do you understand me? It is a priority for me to get down back to reality. So can you help me get there? Do you have a phone I can use? Nope. Don't you think you are carrying this hermit thing just a little too far? I can't have a phone. I have a medical condition. Hearing somebody talk on and on and on causes a ringing in my ear. It's very painful. It's a very rare condition. And it has even caused a man to throw somebody off the edge of a mountain. We're different, you and I. I'm working at becoming a lawyer. I'm still figuring out who I am after discovering who my biological parents are. I'm in an intense marriage that's in trouble. I guess what I'm saying is I'm a serious person. And I'm not? You use different tools to get what you want. Sex, manipulation. You're impulsive and you don't always think about the ramifications of your actions. You don't plan ahead the way I do. I'm just wondering where this insulting conversation is going. It's simple, really. A favor. You owe me that much. Next time you want something, I want you to ask yourself if you're really in it for the long haul. How dare you? No, seriously, just ask yourself. Is it worth ruining everyone else's lives if you're just going to get the itch all over again and start looking for the next new toy in the window to play with? I'm going to be bringing the CFO over here. You hear your plans for the future. Make sure you don't bring us to the brink of ruin. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I think you need to see who's meant to be in charge. Any news at all on the flight? Well, how about with ground control? When was the last time Raider had sights on it? Jeez. Well, hold on for one minute. I've got a call coming in. Hello? Hey, I'm just checking in. Did you take care of that problem at the hospital? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it right now. It's a lot more serious than I thought. It looks like I'm going to be here for a while. I'll let you go then. Keep me posted. Absolutely. All right. Can you at least tell me if the plane is in the air or not? How the hell could you not know that? I'm going to have to get back to you again. This place doesn't look like the hospital. I can explain. Stop. I knew something was up. Are you going to talk? I could just hit read dial on your phone and get the details from whoever it is you were just ordering around. All right. Here it is. You needed Erica out of the picture while the scandal hit the fan over at Fusion, right? So I had a mechanic disable her plane in West Virginia. The plane wasn't supposed to take off. Wasn't supposed to? Erica took off in a damaged plane? much. Well, I'm only trying to fill the void here because getting a syllable out of you is like pulling teeth. Well, as you can imagine what the sound of your voice does to me. What, what are you doing? What's going on? What, are, are we going somewhere? We? We're going down the mountain, aren't we? If you want to go down the mountain, you go that way. I'm going that way. I, I don't understand. Got another cabin. I'm going to bunk there. 
It's not as cozy as this place used to be, but it does have an inside and an outside. But I, I could never get down the mountain by myself. Are you kidding? It's night. It's dark. I would get lost. You know, that's the least of your problems. You've got to watch out for mudslides. Hope you've got a good tread on those things. Well, you give me no choice, okay? I'm going to have to go to the cabin with you. I'm going to have to spend the night. But there's only one problem with that. What? You ain't invited. <laughs>